Hello, I'm Rebecca Gahan with Kick at 55 Fitness. Welcome to our 10 minute discussion on how to strengthen your core while pregnant. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on push notifications so you know every time one of our discussions posts. All right, let's get started with this discussion and demonstration of core exercises. As the mother of three kids, I know how important it is to have a strong core while you're pregnant. Today, we're going to focus on core strengthening exercises. I will demonstrate some very specifically, and we'll also talk about what you can and cannot do. So first, we're gonna start off with how should you be engaging your core? So everybody thinks that it's just drawing in your belly button. That is not the case. What we need to do is take the area where your belly button either is or once was, depending on where you are in your pregnancy. And then we draw a line where our pelvic bone is, and then we meet in the middle. So we have our belly button, we have our pelvic bone, we meet in the middle. Right here, I want you to take two fingers and draw in your core right here. So you're gonna pretend you're gonna have your back against your hand, you're gonna draw your back into your hands, contracting your core, release contract, release. It's okay if right now you can't feel that muscle or it might take a little bit of time. You might need to rewind this video, but this is what we're talking about when we say engage your core. And this is what I want you to engage, whether you're doing a core strengthening specific exercise or you're doing lunges. So for example, I'm doing lunges right now. I'm contracting my core, release, contract, release. I'm doing squats contract, release. I'm doing bicep curls, contract my core, release. You see how you can engage your core, whether you are doing a core specific exercise or not. Now, this is what I don't want you to do. From the minute you find out you're pregnant, please do not lie flat on your back and bring your knees into your chest so that you are creating a cone with your body. See how you can scoop it out? and I'm drawing my knees to my chest, I'm lifting my feet off the ground. This type of a crunch where you bring your body into a cone, that is one position I want you to avoid. That doesn't mean you can't do a crunch in another position, but not while you are on, on your back in supine position, which means facing up. So again, we draw on our core, this is good. We have that line from our belly button, from our pelvic bone, we meet in the middle, here we go. So what are some core specific exercises that we can do that are safe? So let's start easy. We're going into a side plank. So whether you can be on your hands or you need to come down to your elbow, we stack our feet. Again, drawing in that muscle right here. Hold, release. So you can hold it for 30 seconds. If 30 seconds is too long, hold it for 25. If 25 seconds becomes too long, 20. And so something that you can do is three sets, 30 seconds per side. Now, let's say you get to a point in your pregnancy where you can't lift your legs up completely. So we do a modified plank on our knees. And again, we're engaging that core right here. So while we're in a side lying position, let's talk about leg lifts. So we're now gonna be down on our elbows, okay? So right now, I am leaning on my left elbow, my feet are stacked, and I'm gonna lift up both legs. Now you might say, there's no way I can do this while pregnant. Fine, then we'll, put, we'll bend our bottom leg. So right now I'm bending my left leg and my right leg is elevating and I'm engaging my core right here as I lift and lower, lift and lower. So these are two exercises that you can do on your side that are safe and will engage your core. All right, we're gonna go and back up to standing right now. And I'm gonna show you two exercises that we usually do in a supine position, but now we're gonna do them in standing position. So we're gonna have a standing crunch. And you might say, Rebecca, I thought you said no crunches. I said no crunches on the floor, supine position.
But standing, we're going to hollow out our core, draw our back into the back wall or into our hand. Again, we're contracting that muscle and we bring up our right knee, release, contract the core, left knee, release, contract, hollow out the core. Let's do it from the side. Contract, release, contract, release. And again, you can do three sets, 30 seconds, take a break in between. Now, another exercise that we can do standing is a bicycle, which again, typically we do lying on the ground. So now I'm going to take my right shoulder and rotate it to my left knee. Rotate, contracting, engaging that muscle right here. Contract, release, contract, release. It's just a slight movement. Now, if you feel like you don't have the balance to do so, hold on to the wall, hold on to the couch, hold on to a significant other, maybe a toddler, depending on how secure they are. Okay, so we've gone through two side lying exercises, two standing. We're now gonna go onto all fours and talk about a couple of exercises that we can do here. Whew. So we're gonna go into a cat cow, okay? What's gonna happen is we're going to take our back, pull it towards the ceiling. So we're hollowing out, hollowing out the core. Then we let our back completely arch and let that core, that stomach drop to the ground. Release, pull the core, the back up to the wall. Release, let's talk about where the core or what we're doing right here. We're contracting, we're pulling the core, drawing it to our back, drawing the back to let's say our hand was right here. Now release. Whew. And again, you can do three sets of 30 of this exercise. Okay, we're gonna go into a bird dog now. We have all four um, limbs on the ground. So we have our hands and our feet. We're gonna take our right hand and reach it out and our left leg. Now at the same time, again, we're contracting that core. We're gonna bring it in, alternate. Now let's say you don't have the balance to do this. Then just tap that foot. It might not be as effective, but you're still engaging the core. I don't want you to do anything where you're putting yourself at risk of falling over. Here we go. Contract, release, contract, release. Perfect. So now we've just done two exercises where we're in a plank position. You might notice we don't really have a lot of exercises that we do on our back, and here's why. As you progress in pregnancy, it gets harder and harder to lie on your back. One, because it's just harder to get up. Two, because at a certain point in your pregnancy, the baby, your uterus, everything is compressing on your vena cava. So when you lie down flat on the ground, you'll feel like, whoa, I don't think I can breathe. Don't worry, that's an alarm system from your body saying, elevate your head, okay? So when it's time and you feel like you can't breathe, and trust me, you will know when that is time. It might happen 20 weeks, 25 weeks, 30, but it usually does happen. Elevate your head when you're lying on the ground. So now, assuming that you can lie flat on the ground, we are going into a hip lift and we're gonna slide our heels out. Now, if you say, Rebecca, there is no way I'm gonna be able to slide my heels out, then we're just gonna do a hip lift and lower. Contracting that core, contract, release, contract, release. But if you are able to slide your heel out, we're gonna elevate our hips, slide that right leg out, bring it in, release, bring the hip to the ground, elevate the hips, slide that left leg out, that heel out, bring it back in, release. And that might take a lot out of you. That is definitely the most complicated advanced exercise that we're going to do today. So in conclusion, 
We now have two sideline exercises. We have two exercises on all fours. We have two exercises standing and one lying flat on your back. You can take all of these and do three sets. Again, 30 seconds, or maybe you just do 10 reps, three sets. Do it once a day, twice a day. I also wanna preface this by saying that we normally don't do core specific exercises in our prenatal HIT workouts. And here's why. I wanna give you, we at Kick wanna give you the opportunity to really elevate your heart rate during those workouts. And so we feel like by getting you down on the ground and then having to get back up, then you're not getting quite the same workout. So I wanna separate these out. So for example, something that you can do is let's say on Monday, you do a prenatal HIIT workout. Tuesday, you just do a core specific workout. And then Wednesday, Thursday, you do one of our HIIT workouts. And then again, the next day you followed up with just a core specific workout. Thank you so much for joining our 10 minute discussion on how to strengthen your core while pregnant. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on push notifications so you know every time one of these discussions posts. And follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. And finally, if you like this discussion, give us a thumbs up and send us feedback down below. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on push notifications so you know when our next workout posts.